Hi guys, welcome to the Nigerian Best Lover YouTube channel. My name is Sunde. Straight to it, this video is about things you should look out for before buying the Mercedes Benz CLE. Right, so the CLE from um, 2014 all the way to I believe 2019. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, so um, the CLE is like the entry level Mercedes Benz sedan, right? It's based on the A class. I mean, after 2019, for 2020, they made um, the A class sedan, mm -hmm. but for 2014 to 20, um, um, 20, 2018, 2019, when a small Mercedes Benz sedan that was you know compact and affordable, then the CLA was one to go for, right? So, what I said, affordable. You can get a CLA in Lagos, Nigeria for around um, 7 million to as much as say 15 million depending on where you are buying and if it's a Nigerian used model or if it's a foreign used model, you can see brand new ones again. I mean, right. but, you know, before going into the nitty gritty of the, you know, the car and all that, I also want to talk about the design, right? So the CLA is kind of like a baby CLS, you know, it was it was based on the CLS, right? And when you look at it, it looks like a squished CLS, right? But overall, I think the design is beautiful, you know, and it's also very aerodynamic. I mean, it has a drop coefficient of, I think, 0 0.21 or 0 0.20. I am not sure, but it should be here. And, and you know, like, because of the design cues, like the bold design about it, it has a love hate relationship with consumers, right? So, for me, I like it. I think it looks good. It looks weird in some angles, but overall, it looks really good. Especially um, at the front. Especially at the front. It looks pretty good. Um, like, you know, with the like front end design. Though, they say, um, some, review, some reviews have said that it looks a bit aesthetically heavy at the front. But, I think it's not that bad. But then, there's some people who hate it. They think it's ugly. I don't know. It depends on your preference. Let me know in the comments. Straight to the main thing, right? Um, the CLE is the entry level Benz, like I mentioned earlier. So, it's if you were someone who was like getting their first car and you had that amount of money, then it's a good car to get at the first car. Very nice, it's quite economical, and overall, it's probably the easiest Benz to maintain in the Mercedes Benz lineup, in the Mercedes, in the modern day Mercedes Benz lineup, as long as you don't crash it or damage parts we'll get to that right um so but like i said first time buyers good option or oh, you're moving from a lesser brand maybe like a corolla i'm moving from a corolla or a civic you want to you know go into the premium brand mercedes-benz then a sale is a good option you know you're moving from a corolla or a civic maybe a camry you know then it's a good option but if you were driving an e-class like an e-class or a c-class maybe you're using a 2005 e-class the rich one one e-class or you're using um a c-class from that period and you were like okay you know what let me get the cla as my next main car i would advise you not to nope why the cla is not as comfortable as the e-class right um because i drive an e-class i'm used to the comfort you know our roads are not nigeria specifically our roads are not um uh smooth right even the smooth roads are still uh choppy they're still bumpy in their own ways so for the e-class it irons everything out like i always feel the bump like oh bump you know like it's 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 it's, it's nice i mean yeah like you just feel like oh i want to buy a bump finish but in the cla you feel like oh i want to buy a bump Fuck. yeah so um, if you are moving from an E-Class to a CLA, I would advise you not to. It's better you get a, a W205 C-Class, which is similarly priced to the CLA. Maybe maybe a, a, a C300 or a C200 if you are still trying to be you know, economical. Right, because the first day I drove the CLA, after driving it for a whole day, I was like, what the fuck? This thing is not comfortable. What was all the hype about? You know, like, like the car is very popular here. Like a lot of young guys drive it. So I was thinking it was going to be awesome, and it is awesome. But in the right comfort area, it is not awesome, right? So if you are um, for the people if you fall into these categories, go ahead and get it. It won't, it won't be too bad. If it's your first, if you are trying to get it for it as a first car, 
go for it and if you have a bigger mercedes maybe an e-class s-class a gl gle whatever and you want to get something for you know going to the um to get some groceries like an errand car you know like let me just go get some things that kind of stuff then you can get a second car emphasis on second car right so that we okay you know what you know because it's good for that or like maybe for emergencies when your main car is at the mechanic all those kind of stuff then have it as a second car but if you are moving from a bigger mercedes you know because forget that some of these mercedes benz cars are older models they still have that comfort they still have that you know that that um cocoon feeling i don't know how to describe it you mercedes benz owners will know what i'm talking about then the cla2 has that feeling but it's a tad bit no not a tad bit like this is where the normal mercedes benz cars are here but this one is a bit down not 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 that not that much but you you would feel it if i could you know have felt that then you would feel it still on the right comfort um stuff so because of how the suspension suspension was built the car isn't the best for high speed driving yeah um the way the back suspension works i don't really know how to describe and to explain it but it's bouncy yeah so if you're driving um on lekki expressway or amadou Bello way you know that open road on tobinland bridge oh my god you for all those um bumps like in in the, in the let me just use the e-class as, e as a base um or a c-class too right they just go over it like the way the suspension is i don't know how to describe it but for the cla there's always a little bounce right and there, were, there are times when like the car is really fast like it's not like oh my god it's super fast but like it's quick you know it's it's for its uh, weight class and the power output it's it's pretty it's pretty good i mean it's not fast fast but it's okay and you know there were times when like doing 160 180 you go over these bumps and like what the fuck like in my e-class doing 200 over these things you or 180 you, you you okay you know that you went over these things but in the cla you're like oh you know like if i was going to get the car as a daily i'll probably change the coilovers or something i don't know but if you are using the cla please do not do like highway speeds i'm sorry like over highway speeds don't, don't over speed with it and um if you're an inexperienced driver don't even think about doing those kind of things just do the speed limits stay chill because the bounce the bounce is something i don't think most drivers can anticipate you you won't expect it like the way it bounces it's not like it's not, it's not bad but for roads for our roads here with the uh uneven um surfaces and the bumps and the the rubbish don't don't one thing you have to know is that the engine is fragile right like i'm not saying it's fragile fragile but it's in between it's like in the ballpark of being quite fragile right um, so for one right our fuel is very bad so like most times you'll be having your check engine lights coming on right so um the there was a time where i had a cla for about three weeks right and check engine light came on twice no well, not twice but when i picked it up check engine light was on and i used four treatment the next day check engine lights went away after about two days right we took the four treatment and then towards the end of my use of it like towards like the end of the third week but the, the check engine light came on came on again and then I had to use four treatments because I was using the car every day. It was like it was my daily, it was my daily driver. And in the last video about the before you buy the C class, remember I mentioned using four treatments. But the CLE, you really have to use it because if not, then the car will suffer. Because in other countries where you have the choice of picking regular fuel or premium, in Nigeria you're stuck with normal fuel, normal fuel. Yeah. So here in Nigeria, fuel is fuel. Those are like premium or whatever nah swap swap so um that's down that, that with that said again the the engine itself is still a bit fragile like more fragile it doesn't like the full stuff wasn't the main thing right so like in a normal car you can just you know kick down and zoom up 
or in the express you are driving you know just screen in sports mode kick down go or you know, out of the blue just boom but in the CLA there were two occasions where I wanted to like normally you just kick down but there were two occasions where I wanted to kick down and go and then the ending just did a weird noise like wah, wah, wah. I was like oh my god I had to the, the second the first time it happened I just came to a stop turn off the car switch it back on check engine lights came on too it is and then I continued my normal drive and the engine was doing a weird sound for the rest of the evening second time it happened I just you know just back drop like please you know calm down so most times when I want to like you know have some spirited drive with the CLA I usually just build up a little bit so when I get probably towards the higher uh, rev range I don't know so don't if you if you end up buying the CLA don't randomly like put your foot down and hit it right because the engine issues can just come out right there have been issues there have been talks about the uh, pistons or the engine locking I don't really know how to describe it but here's an article here I'll link it in the description below next thing is the the car is really small like it's small right like for the front seat passengers it's perfect it's okay you can be 6'5 and you still sit in the car and drive quite normally no issues at all but the issue is when you get to the back seat so if you are someone with tall friends and you guys always move around the and you're like the one that you always cruise with then i think you should consider that another thing is that it doesn't have a large boot space i think the boot space is sufficient but it's not um large like it's not it's not the boot space you use when you are moving apartments or when you are uh, you're yeah, traveling with friends, it's not the car you would use, right? Let, let me give an example. So, last year I was moving to a new apartment and I was moving slowly, like, you know, taking some things with it, like, them to my place. So, I had a silly for that day. I had a silly for that day. And what I wanted to carry were just um, two buckets and the um, clothes hanger. You know those clothes hangers now, those normal ones. The, here's a picture of it. I kid you not, this thing could not fit in the boot. Like the boot was empty, it couldn't fit in the boot. Like, oh, like it couldn't enter. Like, um, like I had, it, I had okay, so I had a tire in the boot, but it couldn't fit in the boot. Nonetheless, guys, there was space for me to just put it over the tire. Like in in the normal E class, there was space for me to put it over the tire. If it was an E class or any other car, in uh, any other sedan fit but in this one it couldn't fit like the boots couldn't close it was just come kind of just now you know the design of the car is that's a kind of slopey back yeah so that's something you have to consider i'm not i'm not downplaying the car right i still went ahead to put this in the back seat but all i'm trying to say is that if you are buying this car and you're thinking about like oh i'm gonna be you know carrying stuff and you know moving stuff everybody has their own things they do you know the car in there but you know everybody has like, their own things that they do so um consider that right trunk space is not the largest right but it's ample it's good enough it's good enough oh and i forgot to mention the back seat too is very bad i mean i mean i mentioned i was like squish them like you know, tight for foot but for tall guys in the back your head will be rubbing on the ceiling because like that's a sloping roof so your head will definitely rub on the ceiling so unless like i said you have tall guys as friends so let's say you've made up your mind on getting the CLE. That's the first bit. I've made up my mind. I want to buy the CLE. I want to tell you some options you have to get. Like important options you have to get. Right? So you're about to, you know, go around some dealership and check out the CLEs. Make sure it has the Apple CarPlay. Like the Apple, I'm sorry. Make sure it has the multimedia um, package right that 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 comes with the bigger screen that has the apple carplay and android auto yeah you want that multimedia package you want it also make sure it has the Hammond cardon stereo emphasis on the Hammond cardon stereo because Hammond cardon stereo is very for you audio files anyway you can have audio file still get it you want the Hammond cardon stereo because all the songs slap you know like they slap and then you also want to get it with the blind spot monitoring and let's even stick with the blind spot monitoring because 
like the, the way the, the, the car is designed it's very it's kind of hard to see through the back windows you know with the like with the weird um, seats like they're sporty seats anyway but you can't really see to the back i don't know how to describe it so when you're driving sometimes it's kind of difficult to see what other people are where other, when people are like near you so the blind spots monitoring the lights are always on you know when someone is close by or when you're about to you know enter a lane without enter a lane without you know checking and other kind of stuff so it's very important to have the next one to have is also the lane keep assist i mean it's it's not really necessary but i like it you know the car monitors the white lines and it's always the steering wheel will vibrate when um you are crossing the white lines it's, it's nice to have very nice to have another thing again you want the dual zone climate control right the one for the back i don't know you don't want that also try to option it out with the um xenon headlamps right i've seen some with the standard amber headlamps and they are, they're nice but the xenon bulbs the bi-xenon bulbs they are awesome right um like for street driving at night it's it's, it's perfect right it's perfect it's, it's wonderful so don't get it don't get the one with the amber headlamps make sure you get them with the xenon bulbs ask them xenon share share any xenon do you have xenon make sure you ask them and also option it out with the um, also get the option of the active brake assist because the CLA like it's like a Frankenstein car somewhere I don't know why there are so many options you can get on the car but those options and the active brake assist would be nice it'd be nice to have right because you never know you know you can be stressed out driving Lagos crazy drivers it'd be nice to have the turn um, stop for you but if that option is a bit too expensive at least try to have the collision warning at least uh, that would be fun the collision warning is always fun when <laughs> you chop space a lot those who know now apart from those um all the features i mentioned i think every other thing that depends on you but those features i mentioned you want to have them in the car because it's a car that you get to be daily in every time you get to be driving it regularly and it's something that i feel would help you would help your commute to be easier the apple copy and android auto will make it seamless you know with the google maps all that kind of stuff the um, blind spot assist is going to save you a lot of time especially in nigeria with, with, with the mad drivers everybody's mad so remember those things those two things are important every other option that depends on you whatever you want but those ones i mentioned make sure you get them another thing to know again is we live in a poor country right like in the US, you are driving the C, the CIA, no one, no one cares. They probably just think, oh, okay, entry level, person starting out in life, or, you know, babe, oh, it's a girl's car, blah, 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 blah. They, they don't, everybody minds their business, you know, it's not like you are driving a Maybach or something. But driving the CLA here in Nigeria now, if you're driving it around the island, no one, no one cares. No one, no one, no one really gives a fuck. I've, I've driven this car um, around VI, Ikoi, as late as 11 p.m. You know, no one gives a fuck. They just look, oh, okay, nice car, okay, oh, fresh guy. But the moment you enter the mainland like this and you enter streets, problem will start. Like, I pass places like I, 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 there are some routes I usually pass to my house. I live on the mainland, and in my E class now, no one cares. No one, no one bats an eye. Like, heck, I've passed there in. Uh, a GLE, not the GLE coupe, but the standard GLE. I passed there in um, the E class, like latest and um, 2017 E class. No one looked, you know, like I don't know, right? No, no one like batted an eye or you know, like ah, all over today. But for some reason, the CLA they think it's some sports car or something. I've had area boys stop me. I've had like it's 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 really annoying. I don't know why. I really don't know why. All these young area boys, I don't know. Maybe they think I'm a Yahoo boy. I don't know. But if you live on the mainland, consider that too. Um, I mean, unless maybe it's your street and all that, but consider that because people will start to think and that you are a rich guy. Because the police will also stop you a lot. Like police always stop me. Right, because I'm always driving a Mercedes. But with the CLE, like you have extra attention. Like in my E-class, sometimes I'll pass them. You know, and then sometimes, you know, with my hair and sometimes when I dress corporate going to work, I always look like an older 30 year old guy. So, but in the CLE, they don't give a fuck. You're driving the CLE, I'm going to stop you. Ten times out of ten, they will stop you. 
they will just they, they just want to stop you. They just want to. They will. Even if you have a paper, they will still ask you for you know some some back. Those are the things you should consider for buying this CLA, right? Don't just jump at it. And uh, if you're thinking, oh man, okay, you know what, this thing is not for me, then you should consider the C class, right? I did it before you buy on the C class. Check it out, it's pretty nice. Check that out and let me know in the comments if you want to know more about other cars, right? Let me know what car you'd like me to talk about next. Peace.